What's going on guys? It's your boy ATF Cobra and today I have a what you would call mostly my thoughts on the FY7. I wanted to do a weapon review for this gun, but unfortunately I can't because there aren't any stats on this gun. There's just you know regular stuff. Um there's no damage outputs over range or anything like that. And you kinda have to be the judge for yourself on how many kills and stuff like that that you do get um with this gun. But I unlock the uh, foregrip suppressor um combination for the FY7 and it's starting to be one of my favorite and very best guns and I'm starting to think that Crisis 3 um, is probably going to be one of the dominant shooters on the market if people start to realize it as such and start to pick up this game and play it a lot more. Now the beta, I would rate the beta itself a 9 out of 10. Um, the reason why is because it works. It has so much balance and so many things are well put and well placed and the um, one of the things that I do like that they changed about this the game is that you have separate um, bars for the uh, self and you have separate bars for the uh, armor and the new uh, you know actual modules that you get to use the weapons they feel really great the power weapons are a great great addition to the game um, and it's faster paced and that's what we all need we need a fast paced shooter not too fast you know like COD um, we need something fast paced um, you know kind of different sci-fi shooter and this is it i think crisis 3 is going to do really well with its uh release next tuesday which is going to be really really awesome i i'm excited i'm um i do want to take your votes um on this leave in the comments below which console you guys want me to get this game for because that that will be my ultimate decision because i haven't been able to make up my mind for it i don't know um you know which console to get it for i don't know for pc or for xbox and i'm having a really hard decision uh decision um, and I want to get it for both, but I just don't want to spend that much money because it's going to be the same game. If you know what I'm saying. But I have, uh, but it's really hard to say where I have more fun at. I have fun on both. You know, I have fun on PC because I can move around faster. It's way more fast paced than the console. Um, I'm aiming is a little bit better as well. I don't have to struggle for my aiming. Um, and while Xbox 360, it's more social, more intuitive. I get to, you know, hang around with you guys and talk to you guys about stuff. And while I'm playing with you guys, while I'm PC, I have to Skype people. And if people aren't on, then, you know, I have more people on Xbox than I do have on, you know, PC. But nonetheless, let's go back to talking about the FY7, why I think it's, it's such a great gun. It has a medium um, fire rate. Accuracy is really high. It's a lot higher than the uh, actual SCAR. Um, or the Scarab. I keep calling it the Scar because I believe that's what it was named in the uh, Crisis 2, but it's actually a Scarab. Um, and it, it just feels like it performs better over range, and that's what you're, you're going to want to look for because a lot of these gunfights, you know, unless you can close the distance between you and your enemy, which you can most of the time uh, if you're a really smart player, but a lot of these gunfights are, you know, from a bit of range. Um, if you are playing on a crash site, it might sometimes be close um, range, but it's all on how, you know, you play as well so um it really does depend on a lot now for the fy7 the reason why it's my favorite gun right now and one of the best guns i think to use in this game is because of such it has a decent recoil while the um uh, scarab has a very high recoil very fast fire rate but the scarab is more used for you know medium close range engagements and not really over long range and if you're over long range with that weapon you have to burst fire but for the fy7 you don't have to you could kind of stay on target and uh, you know kill your enemy as fast as you want to depending on how fast you want to shoot now um what i also love about the gun is just you know just the way it looks it looks super sexy i look the uh the scarab looks good but you know the fy7 just looks way better and it kind of reminds me of the ak-47 and here i'm just slowing down this footage as you guys can see there's a vote uh to kick me um because i was doing really well i went on a 20 kill streak i think or something like that something like that something crazy and they voted to kick me and guess what i got kicked yeah and it was crazy i don't know how does this come up like does it automatically generate in the game if someone starts doing too well because um i think my my average score per rounds and stuff like that is like around nine thousand or something like that around eight or nine thousand um that last time i checked um which means that when i'm jumping into games it tries to put me around people the same average score, but sometimes I'll get into games with way less scores, like two or three thousand. Not completely dominate people, um, 
and I think it, it what it does or what it did try to do when it was kicking me is to make it a little bit more balanced and maybe I was you know kind of ranked a lot more than the uh, players on this map but I joined into the game another game I think this was the same game that I was in because uh, it looks too similar I think some of the same players went here but I don't know for sure but I started doing the same thing and I didn't get kicked kick this time so there's no way you can really cheat in this i'd find it hard for people to um you know actually uh, cheat in a beta um if you can wow that's crazy and it, it's really not that serious if you if you do um you know and i think cheats are definitely over overrated if you're if you're cheating then you're cheating yourself you know really in the game and you're not having fun because there's no fun and you know gaining an advantage or certain advantage not put into the game for you to use um but uh other than that I keep strolling off the topic, but there's not really much to say about the FY7. You used it, everybody think, just about everybody uses it, um, you know, when they can. Um, the thing I hate um, is that when you reboot your suit, you can't pick one gun that you want to stay with. You can actually get the attachments and everything unlocked for it. So once you reach that level and you unlock that gun, um, you can have all the attachments ready, but you can't, you know, keep re rebooting your suit and uh, going back in there with the same gun, which I kind of really want. And, um, you know, for rebooting your suit because it unlock helps you unlock a uh, new and different stuff like the crossbow and uh, you know some of the um, SMGs or secondaries and the rocket launcher. It, it, um, you know, it allows you to unlock a lot of stuff when you reboot your suit, and it adds a lot of replayability to the um, you know multiplayer, which I you know thought was crazy because I have really never sat down and played a game for like five hours. Um, if you guys didn't know about the storm. Um, that happened actually in New England. I actually we got hit too. We have I think like three of three feet of snow, and it was ridiculous. Our cars were trapped so for three days. I just kept playing Crisis, and I had nothing really else to do, so I just played Crisis on Xbox and played Crisis on PS uh, Xbox 360, um, and that's pretty much how my day went. You know, this weekend or how my weekend was, but. Um, Nonetheless, I'm, I love this gun. It, it's fairly accurate. I see, I see that I get a lot more hit markers and hit detection. It's fairly straightforward with the uh, FY7 as with the Scarab. It's really, really different and hard to you know manage it. It's the default gun. Um, if you guys don't already know what that gun is, and if you guys haven't already started playing the beta, you definitely should. It's really, really fun. Um, and I'm stuck between which console to get it for. So be sure to leave your comments below on which console you want to see um, it on, and also leave your uh, leave a like. I really do need them. I really appreciate when you guys do. So uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the uh, gameplay and the commentary. Um, you know, I really wish to see you guys on a battlefield. Uh, sometimes I barely get to play with you guys, but I'll definitely try my best to get on there with you guys. Maybe sometime today I'll be on after I get out the gym. Um, but other than that, like I said, thank you for watching. And I can't, can't wait for uh, Crisis 3 to be released so I can play this game a lot more and play on different maps and stuff like that. But thanks for watching guys. Peace.